Today on Robert Knows, why is the VW Beetle called the Beetle? What makes the VW Beetle so special? And how come practically everyone knows about it? Find out now on Robert Knows. Nice to see you. <laughs> I see you brought along your talking calculator on two legs. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. This is Robert. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Grandpa. Grandpa's card looks so funny. Totally different than ours. My beetle? I've never had another car in my entire life. Beetle? You've never had any other car? Well, like I said, I bought it in 1961, and it has run like clockwork ever since. Just a minute. I'll get Grandma's photo album. Well, you'll be amazed when you see where the three of us went together. <laughs> Why does Grandpa call his car Beetle? Its official name is a Volkswagen Type 1. But because of its round shape and headlights, it was known everywhere as a Beetle. It's famous all over the world and has a lot of fans. How can a car have fans? The VW Beetle comes from a time when cars were still very expensive. The Beetle was therefore one of the first cars that many people could afford. Plus, it was very well built. This means it was very reliable and almost never broke down. So, lots of people drove their Beetles for a very long time. And of course, you become very attached to something you keep for so long. Time. And Grandpa is still driving it today? Wow! Well, there's no reason why he wouldn't. Because Beetles are so important for lots of people. They look after them really well. They are also very easy to repair. So, even nowadays, you can find people who repair them and make them roadworthy again. Not a problem. Anyway, in total, more than 21 million of these cars were built in 20 countries. 21 million cars? Wow, that is amazing! Right, now come look at this. Oh, oh wow. wow! Is that Dad? Yes, indeed, that's your father. That's the time we were in Venice Beach, California with the Beetle. Look! Dad is a little boy? How funny! <laughs> and everyone knew our Beetle. The Americans call it a bug. They sure did. We're on our way to South America at the time. The people in Brazil call the Beetle the Fusca. And two years later, we were on a road trip around Europe. In Denmark, they call it Bobble. <laughs> exactly. And in Norway, it was called Krobar. And here, we are in Kenya. People here call it Doodoo. You drove to East Africa? Well, we traveled by boat a bit of the way. That must have been around 1965. Do you remember, son, when you were so sick on the boat that you were constantly throwing no, up? Dad, that's not quite true. Oh, sure it is. You went on for hours. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 